his brothers hated him even more. You can't, you, you, and, and, and so the interesting thing is all this hate is building up that tells me don't let hate dwell in your heart for, for what God's doing in somebody else. You can't let that hate dwell in you. If I, uh, you look at the story, and it would have been amazing if his brothers would have came around him and said, he said, Joseph, this is amazing. Let's, let's guide you. Let's give you some wisdom. Let's help you with this. Let's, let's, let's support you in this. But they didn't. They, they, they hated him. So one day, his brothers go out to the land of Shechem to go take care of their flock. And Jacob tells Joseph, he goes, I want you to go and check on your brothers. Give me a report. So Joseph says, yeah, sure, whatever you need, Dad. So he goes out there, and they see him a ways off. He had that loud, crazy tunic on, so I mean, I'm sure you could see him for miles. So here he is glistening in the sun with all these colors, looking like a peacock. And his brothers are like, oh, there he comes. Hey, this is our opportunity. Let's kill him. But everybody, I want everybody to say with me, but God. But God had a plan for Joseph. It's so unfair. It's so unfair when you got the favor of God. Some people ask me, they're like, Jacob, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing so good, it's unfair to everybody else. That's the same thing that was happening with Joseph. He, all his, he, he, his own family turned against him. They wanted to kill him. But one of his brothers, Reuben, said, no, 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 no. We can't kill him. He's our brother. He's our flesh and blood. So he tells the guys, hey, calm down, calm down. When he gets here, let's just throw him in the pit because his plan was to get him, take him, bring him back to his father.